Do you know what today is? It's Singles Awareness Day. The day after Valentine's is a day that singles everywhere can say, hey, it's great to be single. Or maybe it's more like, thanks for reminding me I'm single. But no matter how you look at it, I wanted to take this opportunity to focus on a love lie singles may believe. All month long, I've been focusing on love lies, the enemy whispers in our ear. It's so important to remember what is true when it comes to love. So today I thought we'd tackle this love lie. I need someone to be happy. If you're single or even if you're in a relationship, be honest with yourself. Do you believe you need someone to be happy? What is true when we find ourselves constantly searching for someone to make us happy? We all have a story and a life to live. I realized a long time ago that my story and my timeline of events looks different than yours, and that's okay. Proverbs 16, 9, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. If my happiness is based on the plans or what I think I need, I'll come up empty every time. I must first delight myself in the one who has every step I take ordered. It doesn't mean I don't dream and pray about the desires of my heart, but it does mean I trust God with those desires and His timing. In that place, I rest content. Those words have stirred around in my heart recently. I rest content. Do you rest in contentment? with your life and where you are in this season, therein lies the peace and joy. How do we get to that place? Proverbs 19, 23. The fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rests content, untouched by trouble. Go highlight that one if you believe you need someone or something, some job or identity to be happy. The fear of the Lord, which is basically acknowledging He is perfect in all His ways and over it all, is what leads to life and being satisfied in it. There's happiness. When you know the love of God and understand His love for you, your heart can't even contain the fullness of joy, peace, and love the Father lavishes on you. You have no need to look for it anywhere else. Here's a prayer for anyone that's searching for that love. Ephesians 3, 14. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. When you are rooted in the love of Christ, you are known fully and loved so deeply you can't even understand it. There is no other joy or happiness that can compare or be found. That's the truth. Don't believe the lies. You don't need someone to be happy. You simply need to look to the one, the way, the truth, and the life. As you do, you can rest content knowing your steps are ordered and you are deeply loved. Knowing those truths could be the path that leads you to the one or not. Either way, his way is always best. I'm Lori Klein.